we're, we're here for uh, a conference on, on Libya, which has been a problem that's been going on for, you know, 2011. 2011 it's a, a perennial problem. You've got a proxy conflict, basically, being driven by outside forces, uh, whether it's Russia and Egypt and others on one side, uh, Turkey and others on, on the other side. The European Union is split. Proxy conflicts only come to an end when the external proxies decide they want to bring it to an end. So that's what the UK is arguing for. We're saying, look, come on, folks, this has gone on for long enough. It's a disgrace. Uh, yes, we got rid of Gaddafi uh, back in 2011, but it's time now to move on and uh, to bring Libya together under the UN. That's what we want to do. We want to have a, a UN-led peace process and stop this jockeying for position. The people of Libya have uh, suffered enough. It's time for the country to move forward. If there is a ceasefire, yes, of course, there's a case for us doing what we do very well, which is uh, sending people, experts, to, to monitor the ceasefire. I don't see uh, any ceasefire at the moment. That's what we're arguing for today. And as they, as they step down as, as working members of the yeah. royal family, do you have any words or well wishes for them? Yes, of course. I think the whole country will want to, to, to join in wishing uh, them the very best for, for the future. I said before that um, I was sure that the, uh, the royal family has been around a very long time, will find a way forward, and, uh, and I'm sure it will. Yes, we're certainly raising all those issues uh, about uh, the driving habits of, uh, of US personnel at, at the base, and we're continuing to work for, for justice for, for Harry Dunn and for his family.